Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December 23rd, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Pisces star sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to resonate with every single Pisces in a different level. So, uh, for that reason, in this video, I will do my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread, but at the end, unfortunately, forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed with tarot cards, just like I'm doing for the examples in this video in a private session well obviously that is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, if you go for that don't forget but that till the end of December the uh, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute live reading with me are with reduced costs. So uh, these are going to be the four general cards for, uh, for you Pisces. And uh, this is going to be as well a uh, enhanced tarot reading, which means that I'm going to draw additional card per position. So the position goes as follows, we do have the topic of your week, five of wands, followed by the three of cups, which is the, the uh, core of the situation, ace of wands, that will be the challenges which are causing predicaments, and the last one that is going to be the lover's card, which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you. A little bit of an awkward card. <clears throat> To be honest, so that what that week is going to be all about <clears throat> here, it is how you will proceed on forward with either relationship or with either a career because you are to see that some of your previous performance of yours or a certain plan that you have recently started initiating is now starting to take shape and it is starting to give results but how these results are to be capitalized upon well that will be a subject of discussion and a subject of of kind of like clashes of ideas here what we are seeing you know and how generally you know in what direction uh, this cycle is going to develop or what on, on, on what direction the enterprise will develop is going to be yet decided from you and from the people that are yet involved. So Five of Wands, it is explained exactly that. <clears throat> that this is going to be a week where you are to experience a lot of clashes of ideas. Different people will want to do different stuff. On top of that, this card here points that there will be a lot of around turns, which from one point it could be rather uh, unpleasant because little things are to be very um, predictable and decisive throughout the week. But from another hand, it is very positive because if something is going down the downhill, well, easily that can be traversed in this week and to be converted into a productive undertaking. The additional card to the Five of Pentacles or to the Five of Wands, that is the Five of Swords. Beautiful synergy what we do have here is that you need to know when to stop. That is the most important thing because the, the double fives are the number of change and the number of triversion as well to transformation, which uh, basically uh, further strengthens my, uh, my statement that I said, and if you have a situations which are not developing well and they are more leaning toward failure in this week, it is likely that you will be able to traverse them into a success. But that will happen only if you do recognize your personal capabilities and your personal limits. So you don't push your, your uh, these things or your means outside of your qualification, outside of your specialty, outside of your limits as well. And the limits I don't mean uh, limits limits in qu in quantity I mean limits in quality <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Also with these cards it will be very careful how you approach other people all right, and how you approach change in general. Now this should be done in a way of uh, 
taking under consideration the positive aspects of other people's ideas because with these couple of cards uh, you don't necessarily have to agree to its full extent of someone else's suggestion or of someone else's idea but what these cards are pointing here is, is that in every single suggestion and in every single idea uh, either into your career or either into your relationship there will be a positive aspect that you can extract so you can build around um, around those positive aspects your ultimate idea and your ultimate plan how you should proceed with those um, benefits rather for the lack of better term I'm saying benefits but let's say uh, those uh, materializations here from the fruits from the results which which are excuse me a result of your previous labor which the tree of cups actually is pointing because the tree of cups in the grand scheme of thing uh, it's it could point different things I will draw one more card here just to make sure what this is uh, talking about that is going to be the uh, knights of pentacle uh, the king of pentacles excuse me so we do have a person in this specific um, situation and that person itself is going to contribute for the sustaining of uh, of the future development either into your career or either into your relationship how this is going to happen by by you which excuse me I'm trying to uh, to construct the sentence here in past tense um, this is happen this is going to happen thanks to the fact that in recent past you shared your intentions with that person and you allowed yourself to uh to kind of cooperate with them either career wise or either relationship wise just to give you an idea for a relationship wise that could be let's say a friend of yours who wanted to introduce you to a friend of theirs you know and by introducing you to to a friend of theirs you are now starting to see that uh, actually something more than just you know common ownership it is forming here maybe a real friendship or maybe a potential for a relationship again this is the the a number of change so nothing is certain you know what seemed annoying and for example if someone seemed annoying to you until this very moment that week they can impress you uh, very much and you can change your opinion for that person in 24 uh, in, in 180 degrees right same thing goes for one career you may thought that uh, you will never get that job or you will never get that promotion for example all right but just because you cooperated with the right person you shared your ideas with right per with the right person or you shared your qualities with the right person there now could recommend you you know and traverse what seemed failure into a, a grand achievement into a grand success but yet again you need to know where your capabilities and where your limits lies even if you are capable right now to traverse failure into success Pisces now that doesn't mean that you should be over cocky and over uh, um, kind of like overconfident so literally this is what that foundation here that core of the situation uh, represents that the person is actually believe believing in your capabilities they know that you actually worth for something and you're worth more than uh, than the others are recognizing you for and with that by you um allowing yourself to kind of extract the every positivity from every different opinion around you you will be able to systemize a, a very accurate strategy of how to move on forward based on the recommendation or the help of this person king of pentacles which could be a man or it could be as well a woman i'm saying person you know <clears throat> that will allow you to consolidate your positions and it will allow you again to traverse failure into success the ace of wands here which is the challenges which are causing predicaments with the king of swords we do have a different person who is very very skeptical that you will be able to pull it through for only one reason all right and the reason is that they don't see you uh, experienced enough here we are to we are talking about experience so basically what these what that people think is that you don't have much to contribute for that success or you don't have the means the qualification the knowledge and you name it in order to push 
that um, whatever have been entrusted to you to its very end. Now you need to know for the King of Swords that uh, how can I place it? They don't really care. Uh, who you are, how you feel, uh, what your connections are, who vouch for you, and etc. etc. They don't care for themselves either. What they care only is that the job is done, all right? Or sh is the job going to be done and on time? What they care is how the grand machine is working, and everybody who is jeopardizing the work of the machine, it is basically a uh, liability, and they don't want liabilities around themselves. So what you need to do here when you, when you face that person is to show them that you are actually agile enough and adaptable enough in order to fast learn what what needs to be accomplished, what needs to be done, and how how it needs to be done in order to resolve the uh, the issues, the predicaments, the problems that the task actually has. Because with the Ace of Wands into the challenging position, it means that the task that does have a, a very profound and generic issue that needs to be resolved first before the task actually can be proceed further. Couple of examples here. If we go with the career example, someone vouches for you, seeing how good you are in a specific field, which traverse you know the failure of getting a promotion, raise, or a specific project into success. You finally get that project, just to find out that the leader of that project, which really doesn't find you in a very good place, or they don't think that you belong there, and you have to start proving yourself capable enough to push your things through or to uh, contribute kind of, you know, to contribute for the project to an, an extent in which the other part uh, the other members of the team are contributing and to win the favor of this person you need to know that there is nothing personal here i mean they don't do that because they don't like you as as a individual or they don't they basically kind of like are jealous or something else what they are as skeptical about you know is how well you will be able to perform that is the only thing and if we go about relationship example let's say that this friend of yours introduce you into someone else you go out a couple of times and uh, you know you are seeing that now you're starting to develop an affinity for that person right and in the same time they do have a, a different friend here who does not see you as a good match to them. That is no different, for example, than, than two women friends, which are uh, very, uh, which are sharing their personal, uh, personal experiences. They are very good friends, and they are sharing everything, and they are taking the um, <clears throat> uh, kind of like the counsels with one another. And um, I forgot the word. Excuse me, here. Um, yeah, so yeah, they are cancelling with one another and they are uh, kind of like, oh my god, it just slipped my mind, guys. That is so embarrassing. Um, the suggestions <clears throat> and uh, the, the, the suggestions that one gives to, to another, the conclusions that one, one gives to another, very, very serious, very, very serious. The advices that one gives to one another, very, very serious. So that is such kind of a person to the person that you are start dating with, for example. And they are giving them advice that, you know, even if you are handsome and even if you are uh, kind of like cheerful and, uh, you know, uh, cute and etc etc and very good in, in an a in um, in an outer look they are kind of like whispering in their ear that they should not jump into it way too prematurely before that you have to you you actually have to prove yourself as a, a faithful companion and etc etc so these people or that person which is a, a peripheral to your uh, empathizement with whatever you are start dating here, just as an example, is placing additional woe that you have to overcome, spreading a um, insecurity into the person that you like and the person that you are dating with, so something like that. So all in all, in general, guys, we do have a, um, a huge triversion here, a, a huge shift 
which you are to traverse success, uh, failure into success but yet in order to sustain that success you have a lot to prove to someone and the last one that is going to be the lover's card with the uh, prince of swords or the knight of swords beautiful synergy is what we do have here now the lover's card it could mean a, a decision made of uh, love so if we are going with the relationship example as soon as you kind of start experiencing that attraction that doesn't make any sense uh, with someone because the true love it is it is the exactly the feeling that doesn't make any sense you don't love someone for their money you don't love someone for their outer look you love someone because you love of someone that is why it is true and prime law because it doesn't make any sense and whatever doesn't make any sense it cannot be destroyed right so the true love cannot be destroyed therefore it should not make any sense <clears throat> and if you start experiencing that emotion and that feeling you need to make the swift decision should you make it or break it that is what the what the prince of swords or the knight of swords it is asking you and when we talking about making decisions with the knight of swords those decisions need to be consulted with your emotional state so you need to do whatever you like to do very important usually i would say that you have a choice to make but in this case the choice is very simple you gotta go for what you like to do so you have to fight for what you like and you have to sustain it as well and uh, career-wise, these cards, as a guidance here, points that uh, you are to prove yourself into this person by the ability of yourself to take decisions under uh, a uh, under the circumstances of crisis or under pressure and etc. etc. Showing that. Uh, <clears throat> Showing actually that you can be very, I cannot, for the lack of better terms, let's say sober in a situation of where everybody else is in panic. And you can be very accurate with your perception and you can discern what can be productive from what can be a waste of time. So that being said, uh, this was the tarot reading for you Pisces and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards uh, which are going to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, so the first card that we do have, this is going to be the stork. The stork stands for um, <clears throat> new era, it stands for delivery, it does stand as well for birth. Then we do have, <coughs> excuse me, we do have the birds. And the birds are standing for phone call, they stand for gossip, and they stand for social media as well. And the last one we do have the coffin, and the coffin stands for ending, and it stands for new era as well. And it stands for stop. So what we do have here, it is a stop of gossips that is the most positive interpretation of these cards so delivery of a, um, a means which are going to make gossips to be set to an end all right and that could be the very well the try version here you need in order to make failure into success uh, alternatively that could be a appearance of gossips which are going to end just as fast as they have appeared in that case of interpretation i don't think that this has anything to do with the tarot reading these cards are pointing very meaningless event here that can really do nothing else but but ruin a couple of days of yours ruin emotionally it is what i mean and literally that's that with the lenormand card and also uh, i was thinking about one more thing that they could mean one second um these cards could as well mean that a um <clears throat> a social media birth or a social media project could be put to an end for the sake of something else you just need to know that a, a a thing that it is regarded to a phone call or social media is going to end just as fast as as it had started 
So don't place... One well, my point here with these Lenormand cards is that you should not place a great hopes at something that you hear from the social media and from, from phone calls or from gossips because it may not be proven accurate and it could be just a, a false lead. So you have to be vigilant upon that. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December tw uh, 23, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Pisces star sign. Therefore, it's going to resonate in a different way with every single one of you. So if you want your situation, personal one, to be taken uh, <clears throat> under analysis, just like I did with the examples here in this video. That is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.